The student makeup of Canada's National Ballet School is changing. These are the faces of 2020's graduating class. People don't generally understand how much passion and perseverance and determination it really takes to become a male ballet dancer. I think that's definitely shift now. 16 boys and 11 girls. Even though he's living it, it's a ratio that surprises Ben, who used to feel like he was keeping a secret. Definitely there was, there was a kind of feeling of solitude, like I was doing this, this separate thing. I didn't have anyone who was following the same dream as I was. I kind of felt like at school everyone was going off to hockey practice or baseball practice and there I was with my dance shoes and my dance bag going off to dance classes. Growing up um, dancing, I always was um, like the only boy in the class. But once I came here, I just it was just like a whole new world, um, having so many boys dancing. And it's really just a dream come true, just seeing 16 boys and 11 girls in my like graduating class. Leveling out the numbers has been on the minds of those running the school for decades. When I became artistic director. 30 years ago, there was a lot of discussion about incentivizing um, male enrollment. But as a woman, I couldn't stand the idea of offering classes to boys for free and that young women didn't have the same opportunity. I thought, that's not the way that I'm going to do it. Genuine systemic change takes time. So I would say that it's been a gradual shift over the past 15 years. Dane says part of that shift was a result of bringing more dance into the community. But there's also been a natural progression of acceptance as male dancers become more visible on social media and on screen. It's so inspiring to work with these young men because they're passionate about ballet and they, they want to learn, they want to get ahead. They're not afraid to show who they are. And these young men hope the next generation isn't either. I just hope that little boys are no longer afraid. They no longer have this predetermined thought that ballet isn't for them. I, I hope that if any boy wants to move or dance, that they, they, they are free and able to do that. Talia Ricci, CBC News, Toronto.